Hi guys, good to see you again. Today I'd like to talk about one of the most basic tenses in English, which is present simple. First, let me show you how to make the present simple tense. To make the positive form, we need a subject, for example, I, you, we, and a verb, for example, live. I live here. You live here. He lives here. She lives here. It lives here. We live here. You live here. They live here. As you can see, if the subject is he, she or it, we have to add an extra S to the verb. Let's take the verb think. I think, you think, he thinks, she thinks, it thinks, we think, you think, they think. Remember that in the third person singular, which is he, she or it, the verb always ends in s. It is important to know that there are some verbs that have spelling changes when they follow he, she or it. And here are some examples. To make the negative form, we need a subject, don't or doesn't, and a verb. I don't live here. You don't live here. He doesn't live here. She doesn't live here. It doesn't live here. We don't live here. You don't live here. They don't live here. As you can see, we use doesn't with he, she or it. To make questions, we need do or does, a subject and a verb. Do I live here? Do you live here? Does he live here? Does she live here? Does it live here? Do we live here? Do you live here? Do they live here? We use does with he, she or it. We can also make WH questions. Those are the questions beginning with what, when, where, who, why, how. What do I like? What do you like? What does he like? What does she like? What does it like? What do we like? What do you like? What do they like? And now that you know how to make the present simple tense, let me explain how to use it. We use it to talk about the things that are always true. Humans are mammals. Water boils at 100 degrees. The sun shines during the day. You need water to live. We use it to talk about the things that are true in the present. I live in Spain. They work as teachers. She likes roses. We use it to talk about present habits. In this case, we often use adverbs of frequency, like always or rarely. I rarely watch TV. 
She doesn't smoke. They always buy flowers. We use the present simple tense to talk about timetables and scheduled events. The restaurant opens tomorrow at 8. We arrive on Monday. The train leaves at 7 o'clock. And we also use it in subordinate time clauses. She will eat when she is hungry. He will finish his homework before the film starts. We will go abroad once we get the money. Tim won't go unless we call him. Okay, and now let's move on to the exercise. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, give it a like. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!